Hello everyone, Whoa. this is SPC Plainfield, here along with... And uh, I know Jay Reagan is here, but he's not talking right now. So, today we're going to be unboxing a replacement radio. So a lot of you may already know, this is my lacrosse SA3301. There we go. So as a lot of you already know, this is my lacrosse SA3301 that I have owned since June of last year. Just recently, this thing kind of got damaged. So the antenna here and show this for our stream yard people you can see the antenna there is bent yep it's bent and yep. this side panel came off however i did try my best to put this side panel back on and i did with some success but now because the antenna is bent it will no longer go in all the way so basically now the antenna will not go in all the way so, and lacrosse does not make replacement antennas like Midland does. So, as a result of that, it's, it was time for a replacement. So, that is what we have right here. This is the replacement lacrosse. I've, I've already done an unboxing of this, so this should be a very similar experience. And I'm going to do a proper unboxing of this thing this time rather than uh, immature like the other time. So. Is that a mobile lacrosse? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is a lacrosse. All right, let's open it up. I'll go ahead and cut open the wrapping. Don't do anything that weekly for Louisiana. Oh yeah, and they also uh, they also did the weeklies from the Pacific Coast as well. Oh, those, yeah. The, oh yeah, the, the month, yeah, the monthlies from there as well. They they even they even relayed the uh, they even relayed the Illinois and St. Louis tests. Whoa. Yeah, including Pennsylvania's iPods. Whoa. Yeah, they did all that. So, the only thing I really need is the radio because um, the original power cord from my other one I'm going to use, I'm going to reuse that. I'm going to reuse the original power cord with this new unit. So, all I really need is the unit. But, still, either way, I'll take out the power cord because, like, what I unboxed. When I got my previous unit, the unboxing was like so immature. So, well, at least I finally did a proper unboxing for once. And then the instruction manual, which we don't care about because I already know how to operate this. So, of course. WTOP here soon, too. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I've been I've been forgetting about WTOP's weeklies for the last several months now. So pretty much, this is a brand new unit. It's the same thing. And yep. So we'll go ahead and take off the wrapping. Oh yeah, this is kind of as this is as hard as the HH to remove the the plastic label. Really, the reinstallment of my Midland oh, WR10 and my alert work 
Burps. E-A-E-R-N-T-A-R-10. White version. Oh, yeah, the, the white one. I have the black yeah, one. Yeah, they no longer make those anymore, but they still have a YouTube channel page. Yeah, the ER 10 I actually have is in what? It is in black. Good thing I'm lucky, at least. Yeah, the one I have is in black. All right, so I'll set the new one. Uh, I'll set the new one aside, and I gotta move over. Yeah. So in the old one, I already have uh, the batteries inside of the old one um, are almost dead. So. It was pretty much, it is pretty much time to replace the batteries in this unit anyway, so. So, there we go. The old unit is off. I don't know if I'm going to be using this again. I'm probably just going to keep this on my desk as like a memorial or something. Um, kind of in a similar nature to what I did with the running snail. And I'm going to be placing in the new batteries, but I need to make sure that I, these are the old ones. That I just took out. Okay, looks like these are the old ones. Yep, as I'm getting low, so these must be the old ones. Yep, these are the old ones. So in the trash they go. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and power on the new one. No visible screen damage. So, yeah, because in the previous one, the unboxing of the previous one was kind of immature, so I wasn't the best experience with that. Oh, boy. Yeah, somewhere in this screen, there's like a little, uh, there's a little scratch somewhere in the screen. Yeah, I think that was from the unboxing of this unit, but... Oh well, it wasn't the best. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and power up the new units. Although I will keep its power core because I'm gonna use the other one. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and power the new unit on now. And there we go. So, I already know my way around this radio, so there really should be no introduction. I already know my way around this radio. There really should be no introduction. So of course, you have your flashlight on the side, the brand new antenna. Moist. Yeah, I yeah, probably... Yeah, my, my, my ER... Yeah, my ER50 VPS a flashlight and the antenna that goes up. Hey, yeah, so I think so I think I think with this with this new unit, I think I need to be a little more careful with the antenna, like the way it's positioned. Yeah, like careful. And yes, better roots, what were we gonna say? I I reinstalled my other radios. There's only three of them. Yeah, so I so I probably may need to be I need to be a little more careful with the antenna. Wow, I'm already hearing stuff like five below zero in the suburbs. Oh, geez. This is Odell. I've been able to DX lacrosse on my old one. Yeah, when I was able to pick up Prairie du Chien from here, I've been able to DX it pretty good. As well as my other ones. So there's KWO39. Oh yeah, and also the other thing that comes in the box is the is the wrist strap. Although I already have a wrist strap for it, um, it it's been kind of hard to install the wrist strap on there. 
You're hearing about blowing snow. Yeah, they're talking about blowing snow possible. Oh boy. And then of course you have tornado alerts only or all of them. And then of course you have the AM FM band. Here's WRME. This is the Me TV station. Yeah, obviously I can pick that up pretty good, but I'm gonna deal with setting up the AM FM channels first. Although I mainly do not use this for FM. Yeah, there's WLIT and they're already back to regular music. Here is a... So that's... That's been that's uh, that is B ninety six ninety six point three, and here's W here's W that was WCCQ. Here's US ninety nine five. That's WSHE. That's Q Rock. Here's WKQX, and here's WTMX. Here's the traffic report, just for the heck of it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, in my there's a vehicle fire on 1st Avenue. That's northbound just before 47th Street. And then in Frankfurt, there's a five-vehicle crash on Harlem, just south of Volmer Road. So you will see a bit of a delay out that way. Traffic is brought to you by, oh, you're going to love this one, it's Taco Bell. All right, uh, raise your hand if you like burritos. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, Taco Bell. I had tacos for dinner tonight, so... Had, just had tacos for dinner tonight, so that that is perfect. That's a perfect sponsor. All right, uh, raise your hand if you like burritos. Thank you for the Taco Bell two dollar beefy milk burrito in that hand. All right, uh, seasoned beef with three cheese blend. Another beefy milk I haven't had Taco Bell in a. I haven't had Taco Bell in a little bit, so. How limited? Oh yeah, and then they're talking about their other promotions. I've been able to DX KDK on my old one a few times. Yep, here's WGN. Yep. I was gonna use this for the I was gonna use this for the Illinois monthly, but but then after ten, a new Tennessee, I gave up and I used I used WBBM instead. But I tuned in just in time because. I tuned in just in time because I heard 1022, business is next. This is a test of the emergency alert system. And I actually got audio of it. Yep. Yeah, this would be WVAP, but there's some other channel. Here's where, WC yeah, and, here's where WCCO oh. would be. Yeah, and then what about KDK8? Try getting on that. Yeah, I've been, I've been able to, I've actually been able to DX KDK on this thing. I've been able to DX KDK on this thing. Nope, not this time. Oh, yeah. Nope, not this time. And although I mainly do use it for sports while I'm away, I am going to go ahead and put this on 780, or 720, right? I'm going to put this back on 720. All right. So there we go. That is the unboxing and setup of the replacement Lacrosse S83301. You can see right here the old one, and right there is the new one. So I knew that a, a time like this would come, but that goes to show that I need to be very more I uh, need to be a little more careful with my stuff. Because I don't even know if Lacrosse still makes these, but good thing Amazon still sells these on their website. Because yep. if if this was sold out, I would have been SOL. And that what would does not, that mean? That means SOL? that that means out of luck. Yeah, that that means out of luck. So. 
And yeah, another another thing, it was time to replace the batteries on that other one anyway. So, um, yeah. So thanks for watching the unboxing. And this has been SPC Plainfield, all along with. And again, Jay Reagan is idle. And we will see you in the next video.